Coach Arnold and Kalisa Mestrizimo. I would like to share it here about uh, those who wants to learn FMA or the Screamer or less, like you didn't have time to go to the Philippines or you can find an instructor. So you can follow me here on my YouTube channel. I'll give free, I'll give basic about FMA coming from the system of Kalis Illustrisimo. Okay, the first thing that I want to share to you is how to hold the grip, how to grip or hold the stick. So this is illustration of holding the stick. So you hold it at the tip, okay? Not here. So we use all the length of the stick by using it here. The way you grip, don't grip it hard because once you grip it hard, muscle stiff, then you cannot properly extend your arm when you're about to strike, okay? So there are three distances in a extreme of fighting system. First, we have the long distance, medium, and a close distance, okay? So each distance has a proper technique or a designated technique. It's each and every distance in, a, in the Illustrissimo system. Okay, first, you do coming from the long range distance. So, the measure of the long range distance is keep a good step of the corner. So, you the So, that's how we consider our long distance. Okay, since we are in long distance, this is how do we put our guard. It's higher guard. Okay. This one, one is high. Then put, they put the balance in the center. Now lead it forward, now lead it backward, now lead it to the side, or lead it to the side. If you take note, I'm not carrying my stick. I'm not carrying my stick like this. Because it takes too far before it landed to the target. Okay? See how far before it landed to the target. Okay? So, if you are in the long distance, this is our guard. In the medium distance, this is our guard. In a close quarter, this is our rear guard. Okay, let's go back to our long distance. This is how to stand. Okay, so no couching, no too much stick. Just a little bit like boxing. Okay, the course here. Okay, next tip is when you look at, at your opponent. Don't look straight to the eyes of the opponent or don't fall or don't look to his weapon hand because once he moves, he feel dizzy, right? So what we have is we look at the shoulder so that the peripheral view becomes wide so I can take note if there's a guy coming beside this another guy so I can adjust my position or I see a shadow here moving so I can adjust my position, okay? Locks are high here. When you strike, no pulling back. Okay, no telegraphic attack. So just down or just throw the tip. Okay, another tip is when you strike, try to extend, full extend and angle your weapon like this. Not mostly strikers do is like this. When you're carrying the weapons, the attack thing like this. So it, it, it this uh, the weapon hand comes first. So it should be the tip. It should longer. Okay. Okay. So this is how you hold the stick. This is how you do a form when it comes to fighting or the guard position. Actually, the guard position just only comes when you do a sparring or a duel because there's no such things are as. Uh, fighting form because in the street you cannot really stick like this or talking with someone like this okay so in the street situation whatever your position is your fighting form okay so next time just follow a YouTube so I'll, the next lesson that I'll read to you we start a different kinds of striking okay so I hope if you want to learn just please subscribe and uh, 
uh, share so that other people knows that there's a free lesson here that I give it to you. The only thing that you can pay back is just likes and share. Thank you.